they are the materials to use so let me first of all introduce you to the material this is the frame of the mower that will be used for this um, electric mower this is the normal regular um, gasoline powered mower the gasoline engine has been removed from this space so i'll be replacing that with the electric motor and uh, this is the this is the electric motor that will be powering the mower now it's rated 12 volt 24 volts and um, i will not be using blade i'll be using the the trimmer line um very simple diy and uh, this trimmer line it's available for this handheld mower to trim the grasses so instead of blade i'll be using this trimmer these are very strong lines that at a very high speed could cut anything coming up right on this um, right on the we're cutting a part of it a line on the motor like this can you see that so this is replaceable and it's very cheap um it will make this last longer then we'll have battery and it can use battery as well as electricity depending on what you want and um that's that so let's get into it let's get let's put this on the table right now and let's get started let me welcome you to another video and thanks to all my subscribers if you are new to my channel please subscribe and let us learn together I will be installing a DC electric motor on the mower frame so it can be powered by a battery or the mains with the use of a rectifier. First thing to do is to fix the motor on the frame and that will require a flat bar at a precise sizes to make angles for the motor or mounts if you like. I took a measurement with the tape to know the exact length to cut. Here, I had to grind the flat bar down because it's a recycled bar that I'm trying to reuse for this project and it has some rough parts that needed to be flattened. Now cutting the marked areas using a hacksaw. Drilling holes at both ends of each mount for the screws. One hand will be tied to the motor and the other hand to the mower frame. The mounts are to be securely bolted to the frame, first using M10 bolts and nuts, then the motor is placed on it and bolted together using a size 10 spanner. Please remember your likes and comments are my inspiration. Please inspire me more by liking and commenting on this video.
For the motor to be powered by the AC source, a rectifier that can sufficiently power the motor loads had to be installed. It is a simple system comprising of a step-down transformer that steps the voltage down from 220 volts to 12 volts. Then the 12 volt is connected to a rectifier to convert AC to DC. It's a basic stuff, you know how it is. The rectifier and the transformer are equally booted to the mower. At a point I was thinking the module for converting AC to DC should have been kept at the mains. I don't have a special reason for that but I would love to know what you think in the comment section below. Was it a good idea to have the rectifier module on the mower or should it have been kept at the mains? In preparation for testing the new electric mower, the cable to connect the battery to the motor is being fixed with a switch for easy on and off operation. The electric mower looks ready and we will be putting it to test to know if the effort was worth it. So, the moment of truth is here and the electric mower will be made to cut tough grasses. I hope it passes this test. Well, in your own opinion, do you think the but, electric mower but, did Chris, very well? Why Let me have your father? comments in the comment section below. Please, remember to like and share this video. I will see you in another one.